Hey there, welcome back to All in Crypto. And in this video, we're going over eGold, Elrond. Yeah, I've been meaning to make this video for a little while now. It's actually a little bit late because we are having a bit of a breakout right now, but uh, better late than never, I guess. So we're on the weekly time frame right now. Let me get rid of a couple of lines here. I want to show you some stuff up here in a minute, but I um, just want to say we, we came up to the $580, $70, 80 range, $60 range um, last year, and then we started falling from there. We broke below the 50 came back to retest, couldn't do it twice, one retest, two retest, and fell again. Um, I knew that this was going to be roughly the top, and unfortunately I was staking my e-gold and uh, I couldn't get it unstaked in time to uh, cash any out. So by the time I got it unstaked, we were already down to 200 to $250, somewhere around there. So I just said, forget it. I'll just hold on to it. But uh, I knew that was coming because of this right here. Uh, from the top to bottom, uh, let's see, this is, yeah, late of uh, 2020. Uh, I just was following this fib. It hit the 2618, had this massive wick up above. I didn't know we were going to drop this far. I honestly thought uh, maybe we'd come below the 50 like we did back here uh, and then go up again. But uh, there was, if you can see it down here, some during this time, some bearish divergence. We had higher highs and lower lows on the Wu Manchu here. So that should have been a signal. Plus, we had this red dot once we hit the, once we got close to the 50. Uh, on the trend meter. Uh, but that's history. Just wanted to show, point that out. Uh, one thing I also wanted to point out before we get into all this over here is if you go to the very bottom, go to the top with the um, Fibonacci, we tapped the 382 perfectly. Had a nice bounce. Um, let me zoom in. Tapped the 382, bounced up with a nice wick. Uh, we got a green dot on the Vu Manchu. On the weekly, we don't have a green dot, uh, full green dot on the trend meter yet, uh, but we have been following this channel uh, right here, and so we've tapped it one, two on the downside, one time, and if it doesn't break through, I'm assuming in a couple weeks, uh, we're going to tap uh, the top here again, roughly around 75 to 100 to $90. Now, I got a yellow arrow here. Let me delete that and I'll show you what that is here in a second. We have broken out of a triangle. Now, normally this could also be like a bear pennant or a bear flag or a triangle going in a bearish direction, but we've broke out the other direction. Now that's pretty bullish. Uh, we Not only did we tap the 382 and bounce off of that, which is pretty bullish, but we came out of a bear pennant the opposite direction. So that's that's pretty good. Let's go down to the daily and see what's going on here. So here's our pennant right here. So I've drawn out the pennant. We've had multiple resistance, multiple or support, multiple resistance, and we finally broke out. I saw this thing coming for the breakout a few days ago. I wanted to make a video. I didn't have time. I actually saw it coming right around here when we uh, did not come back to test the low. I had assumed we were going to go up high higher. And so if you take the fib from down here to right here, not only that, we tapped the uh, 0.5 and then we held, we just tapped it with a wick, held the 382 with the bodies and we were up close to the resistance and we were close to the 50. We had a really nice breakout. This is actually a really good breakout because not only did we break straight out and we tap the next line here, but we are breaking right through it. Now, looking at the Vu Manchu, we still got a uh, ways to go actually we could get all the way up to our line here around 80 bucks in the next uh, week or so without retesting that's how much room we have but uh, we still may come down and retest at some point which would bring us all the way back down to about 58 bucks but we got a good breakout here looking nice uh, this arrow which is not uh, drawn very nicely let's see yeah, definitely not a nice arrow. So let's bring that down. There we go. So this is uh, where our target is in look. Oh, geez, look at that. So we broke out right here and the target is $83. And it's hitting our trend line perfectly, which is exactly where I think we'd find some resistance. So we hit our trend line. Uh, we're not going to break through it right away on one candle. It's going to bounce around here for quite some time. 
Uh, but eventually I'm hoping it's going to break out and take us higher. If we have reached bottom with Bitcoin and we are having a reversal uh, with the altcoins uh, because Ethereum has been moving like crazy due to the merge coming up. Um, eGold has also got some stuff in the works. Apparently, I just saw something from uh, Benjamin. What the heck is that guy's name? Benjamin, whatever, M. Starts with an M. Uh, about September, I think he said, is going to be pretty big. Which, if Eagle's got something big in September, Ethereum has something big in September, then you got Ethereum Classic and Ravencoin about to take a bunch of miners from Ethereum. Uh, September might be a pretty big month. Uh, but then October might be a pretty big fall. Depends. We'll see. Buy the rumor, sell the news, or or just keep on going. Not really sure. But this lines up perfectly with this breakout uh, of that triangle pattern right there. And so, yeah, you missed the if you didn't get the breakout here, you still got some room to go. There's still plenty of room here. Yeah, we're looking at 25% still from where we're at right now. Now we, I I can imagine. Let's go down to the six hours. See what we're doing because I can imagine this thing can't go straight up, can it? Uh, there's got to be some kind of a retest back down to the 50 at some point. I mean, let's get rid of this Fibonacci. And let's draw a new Fibonacci to the upside. Okay, so we've broken above the 2 and are retesting the 2 right now. Man, this thing is just moving. So we busted through the 1272, the 1618, retested the 1618. If we hold the 2, move up to the 2618 and break through that, man. So just keep, if you want to, just draw Fibonacci from top to bottom here. And I'm on the 6 hour, so just keep your eye. And we've got multiple red dots up here on the Vu Manchu. But man, the trend meter is just going strong. So, I mean, we can hold up here for quite a while. Just because you get a red dot doesn't mean it's going to roll over. Uh, once you start seeing some divergences, then you might consider uh, pulling out. So, like, back here, we had this divergence going right here from here to here. And then what did it do? It fell. So, we haven't seen any divergences yet. So, there is still a chance that this thing could come down, come back up, make a divergence, you know, roughly... Uh, this week sometime or even next week and then we finally see the fall but that could also happen I mean, this thing can go straight up hit the resistance and that's where the divergence happens and that's where we get lots of confluence not only do we get oh and look at this the 4236 is right around this resistance so maybe we wick right up to the 4236 uh, anyway so we get the resistance here we get the uh, bearish divergence and then we get a fall let's just assume that that happens and it just does go straight up let's put it Somewhere right around here. Now let's put it all the way up to the to, to the um, end of the arrow here. So we get some resistance. We come back down, retest the 382, the 0.5, or even the 618. Maybe I mean we can go all the way down to the 786, and if we, we can keep moving from there and break through this this trend line right here, which is the massive trend line on the weekly. Once we break through that, this. Uh, falling wedge here or i'm sorry falling um <laughs> channel excuse me uh once we break through the falling channel that's when we can start getting some moves and uh let's go ahead and do one more thing let's see if we got some price targets here for the not immediate future we are still in a bear market so this is not the immediate future we could get rejected off the 382 which would uh, line up perfectly with the 50 if we do break out of there come back down and retest this line here back at the 236 or maybe below, um, which I would imagine would happen. We're going to, I mean, on the weekly, you get rejected not only at the 382, but the 50, you meet it right there, come back down, retest. And if we're still bullish and we create some sort of double bottom here and we start pushing up, then there's a good chance that we just keep moving back and forth, back and forth until we finally have a breakout. And my targets uh, for eGold for this cycle, uh, we made it to $530, $60, somewhere around there last cycle. Uh, my target right now would be around eleven to $1,200. My first target, second target would be around $3,000. And eGold is such a small market cap compared to a lot of these other projects and eGold has been growing quite a bit. Um, so I can imagine in the next cycle, barring any kind of hack or anything with eGold, that we could easily, easily get to $1,200. Uh, but if you can get past 1200 and get to 3000 boy, maybe start pulling some chips off the table up here. 
and uh, wait for it to fall back down and, and buy again. So that's kind of my targets, price target of 1200 and 3000 Not, I'm going to say not this year. Uh, let's just move all the way over here. Yeah, uh, May, May of next year. I mean, nobody can predict time, but my guess would be next year. Uh, so right now, great time to get involved in the project. Um, it is super cheap. Uh, man, this thing was at 560 bucks just last year. Now we're at 66. So even if we just went right back to all time high, uh, yeah, that's, that's quite, uh, uh, some money you just made there. Also, if we hit the 618 and get rejected, we finally have a relief rally, head up to the 618, get rejected at $200. Even buying right now in the, in a relief rally to get up to the 618 would be, um, what kind of percentage gains are you making with that just from right now? 200 percent that's pretty good so anyway that's e-gold um price targets let me know what you think in the comments like and subscribe and i'm not a financial advisor so uh yeah take it for what it's worth talk to you later